graduates, parents, family, and friends. Welcome to the unique virtual commencement ceremony for East Peoria Community High School District 309. I'm Dr. Marjorie Gruder, Superintendent, and I want to extend my warmest welcome and congratulations to the class of 2020, the first and hopefully only class that has experienced the effects of a global pandemic. While this virus has dictated much of what's happened in the past nine weeks, it cannot change the tenacity, grit, learning, or history of these students. It cannot negate the accomplishments of each individual, nor can it take away the reality that these students are ready to launch into adulthood. Graduates, we are so proud of you. You've worked hard and accomplished much, and you are ready. You are ready to join the workforce, you are ready to continue your education, and you are ready to serve. As we begin this commencement, remember that the experiences you've had in high school have prepared you for anything that might come your way, including a novel coronavirus. Today is about celebration, and it is about honoring you. Welcome to the Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Welcome, everyone. I'm Lori Laredo, Assistant Superintendent of Academic Services and Principal, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the virtual commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. At this time, Sydney Robinson will give the welcoming speech for this year's ceremony. Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us in honoring the East Peoria High School class of 2020. My name is Sydney Robinson, and I wanna take the time to thank everyone for their time and consideration during the situation at hand. While this isn't the traditional school year or graduation we seniors wanted and have worked so hard for since our bright-eyed days in kindergarten, the situation has brought us here today as accomplished adults. The lessons we have learned during high school are close to our hearts, but during this time, some of the most valuable lessons we will ever learn were taught time management, respect, diligence, and the truth that life doesn't always present us with the traditional ways or outcomes. There are crossroads, bumpy streets, dead ends, forks in the roads, mountains to climb, and valleys to walk through. But at the end of it all, we find ourselves stronger than before. To my peers and fellow seniors suffering due to the pandemic, we have all come out victorious victorious as we celebrate the biggest and saddest milestone of our educational careers, graduating high school. Thank you for all those involved throughout our school years and those involved in making our final wish come true in the best way possible, given the circumstances. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to the East Peoria Class of 2020 graduation. We did it, Raiders. Thank you, Sydney. Throughout the year, the Student Council at EPCHS collaborates on many activities to raise funds and awareness of multiple organizations. Jolene Varquez and Samuel Abbey are Senior Student Council representatives who will talk about the Class of 2020 gift. Because the tribe means so much to the school, Sam and I, along with the Executive Board, decided that the class gift will be a new and improved flag for the tribe. At the same time, we are repairing the old flag. That leaves the tribe with two flags to show their Raider pride. Thank you, Jolene and Sam, and thanks to the Class of 2020. We are excited to have the senior chorale members under the direction of Ms. Hannah Church present for your enjoyment, Take Me Home by Pentatonix. Take me there, won't you take me there? 
Thank you, Ms. Church and members of the Senior Chorale. This year's commencement address speaker was voted on and selected by the senior class. It is my pleasure and honor to present to you this year's commencement speaker, Ms. Hannah Church. To the class of 2020, here's where I make a grand opening statement to get your attention. A philosophical quote that really impresses you, where you say, ooh, she went through a few Google search results to find that one. And here's where I make a lighthearted joke to ease all of the nerves, mine included. Feel free to laugh, I'll wait. And here is where I impart some of my teacher wisdom and you walk away from this speech a little more informed about how to function in life. There's one thing I can and will tell you. We are all a little bit of a hot mess and we're looking for validation in life. Okay, that was two things. You don't need to have the rest of your life planned out minute by minute. You don't have to have a timeline of marriage, career successes, and wealth. Anyone that tells you that they have their lives perfectly mapped out and without any snags or hiccups in the programming isn't being honest. It's okay to make a mistake. Everyone does. But what you do after you make that mistake is what can set you apart from the rest of the human beings on this planet. If you need to apologize, apologize. Admit that you were wrong or that it wasn't the best decision. Don't let it become you and define you. At the end of the day, the only person who holds you accountable is you. It's like spilling coffee on your shirt at the very beginning of the day. It's there. Everyone knows it's there. You know the person you are talking to is trying not to look at it, but they keep looking at it. Address it. Say, I know I spilled coffee on myself this morning, and then don't spill coffee on yourself the next morning. Needing validation doesn't make you conceited or insecure. It makes you a human person on this earth breathing oxygen. We all need it. It feels good to hear someone you love and trust say, you did a fantastic job, or I am thankful for you. Take those compliments and allow yourself to feel good about them. Give them to other people. It's okay to need to be needed. Here's where I end my advice column speech and start to address all of you as a class. Proud doesn't begin to cover it. I have never seen such a genuine, kind, funny, talented, and passionate class come through this high school. I had the privilege of watching you go from awkward freshmen to, well, still awkward seniors, but you learned so much along the way. As you get older, you will find the things you hang on to from high school might not be a math formula, MLA citations, or the best acronym to remember the lines of the treble clef. You will remember people and the time they took out of their own lives to help make yours better. I say this on behalf of every single member of the staff of East Peoria High School. We love you, we are proud of you, and we can't wait to see how you will use your life to make the lives of others better. Have a great Raider day. Thank you, Ms. Church and senior Corral members. My name is Carol Ganem and I am the associate principal. I am moved to be given the opportunity to recognize the academic accomplishments of many students of the class of 2020. The Board of Education, the faculty and staff, and of course the parents, relatives, and friends watching the ceremony are extremely proud of this class. Members of the class of 2020 have distinguished themselves in regard to academic excellence. 
15 seniors have been designated as Illinois State Scholars. 18 are Sterling Merit Award recipients. 20 have been inducted into the National Honor Society, and 50 have been recognized as Mid-Illini Conference Scholar Athletes. Many members of this class were recognized as recipients of scholarships and other academic recognition from groups within our community, various clubs, state and national organizations, and their respective colleges and universities. I now have the honor to introduce the honor students in this year's graduating class. EPCHS has a cord-based honor system based on grade point average or GPA. Today, we will begin recognition with those students who have received white cords, which signifies the achievement of a GPA between 3.3 and 3.49. These students are Blake Alexander, Courtney Ashley, Mason Becker, Dominic Brooks, Robert Burt, Aiden Kramer, Jada Kripe, Brandon Dunn, Abigail Egemeyer, Blake Griffin, Brianna Jack, Haley Klein, Cassandra Miller, Desiree Mauk, Riley O'Laughlin, Madison Purcell, Casey Spence, Safia Syed, and Tristan Turbot. The following students have earned a maroon cord, signifying a GPA between 3.5 and 3.79. These students are Peyton Boyle, Parker Bradford, Clayton Bray, Ian Cook, Joseph Chrysler, Alexandria Dean, Maya Eaton, Allison Eckberg, Austin Evangelist, Alyssa Flatbeer, Tressa Grisham, Alexander Hale, Monique Hoosen, Anna C. Lewis, Emily Matheny, Isaac Nelson, Callie Paulson, Paul Peterson, Sydney Robinson, Jennifer Smallsreed, Ryan Stout, David Ta, Chase Ulrich Wagner, Carter Wilbanks, and Kyle Wrigley. The students who earned a GPA between 3.8 and 3.99 have received gold cords and will receive their plaque at the drive through graduation. These students are Caitlin Angle, Olivia Asbury, Morgan Cowan, Jenna Krebo, Mara Dimitrov, Jacob Higgins, Jake Huff, Tweed McPhee, Krista Messer, Savannah Morgan, Justin Owens, Princess Peldo, Abigail Roper, Hunter Stewart, and Zoe Zimmerman. This year, there are seven students who earned the top GPA honors of a 4.0. 
They have received maroon and gold cords and will be given their commemorative medallion and plaque at the drive through graduation. Earning perfect GPAs through eight semesters of work in alphabetical order are Caleb Alt, son of Nathan and Elizabeth Alt. Caleb plans on attending Bradley University in the fall and majoring in mechanical engineering. Sandra Ganem, daughter of Andrew and Carol Ganem. Sandra will be attending Arizona State University in Tempe this fall, majoring in business law. Amanda McGarity, daughter of Craig and Michelle McGarity. Amanda will be attending Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville, majoring in pre-dental medicine. Brianna Marble, daughter of Brett and Celine Marble. Brianna will be attending Illinois Central College for two years, then plans on transferring to Bradley University to seek a degree in teaching music. Joshua Orr, son of Dale and Cindy Orr. In the fall, Josh plans on attending Bradley University, majoring in mechanical biomedical engineering. Isabel Rakestraw, daughter of Dane and Tammy Rakestraw. Bell will be attending Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona this fall and plans to major in business management. Jolene Varquez, daughter of Joseph and Corazon Varquez. Jolene will be attending Bradley University this fall with plans to major in actuarial science. Congratulations to all the honor students for your academic accomplishments. We are very proud of you. Congratulations to all of our honor students. It's our tradition to offer any senior the opportunity to audition to address their class during the graduation ceremony. The students who are about to speak, along with the student who gave the welcome address, were those selected in a virtual audition. Our first speaker is Morgan Cowan. Is this thing on? Okay, good. Good afternoon, family, friends, administration, and most importantly, the class of 2020. Before I begin, there are many thank yous that must be addressed for making this moment we share today possible. First, I want to thank our parents. Thank you for supporting us each and every day since we were born, and especially over these last few weeks in quarantine. We wouldn't be here without you. Next, I want to thank our wonderful teachers as well as our administration. Thank you for helping us learn things to apply not only to the classroom, but to apply throughout life. You all have been superheroes for us students during this hectic time, and we are so very grateful to have teachers just like you. And of course, I wanna thank the class of 2020, along with all of the other students that have been a part of my tribe and made high school some of the most memorable years of my life. The Raider Tribe, something that East Peoria High School is known for. And I wouldn't want any other tribe than the one we have created here at EPCHS as the class of 2020. We've experienced so many things at EP as a tribe, especially like winning homecoming week back to back. But all of those memories aside, I think the class of 2020's tribe is even greater than that. The definition of a tribe is a group of persons having a common character, occupation, or interest. As the class of 2020, we were born into a world full of conflict. 9-11 happened in the same year that many of us were born, and all of us were brought into a world full of war, hatred, and turmoil. This world full of conflict never ended even as we grew. Events such as the Boston Marathon bombing occurred, school shootings became more prevalent during our youth, and we've had to rearrange our way of life thanks to COVID-19. All of the negatives that have occurred throughout our lives have only made us stronger. We are stronger because we have been able to adapt to change. So when you look at the situation we're in today, one thing COVID-19 and all of these other events did not understand is that we are champions of change. As we wrap up this journey we call high school, our real journeys are just beginning. I encourage my fellow graduates to continue this outlook on change throughout the rest of your journey, whether it's changing for the present or for the future always be a champion of change. This chapter of our life may be ending, but our legacy will live on forever. Not only in EP, but the world will always remember the seniors in the class of 2020. We are the future and we are rewriting history. We truly have 2020 vision. As cheesy as that saying is, we have a different outlook on this world. 
We may live in a world full of conflict, war, and anger, but we are the generation to make this world better. I am so very proud of the class of 2020 and how even with all of these hardships throughout our lives, we still made it here today and will continue to make a difference in our world. But I know that wherever I go and whatever I do, I will always remember my tribe here at EPCHS. My wonderful friends, teachers, administration, parents, and most importantly, the class of 2020. Thanks for being a part of my tribe. Raiders forever and always. Thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Our next speaker, chosen to represent the class of 2020, is Samuel Abbey. If there is one thing that I know about the class of 2020, it is how special we are. We were born the year that 9-11 occurred, a tragedy that would affect us in ways that we wouldn't even know. We have seen the first ever African-American presidency. We even got to fall in love with One Direction just to be devastated when they broke up. And now, on the cusp of adulthood, we graduate amid a pandemic where hand sanitizer is king and standing close to someone will get you a dirty glance. We are alone, but together. Obviously, we're not the only people who have seen those historic events or been affected by this pandemic. Yet we are members of a class who will never have a normal senior year. That's gotta count for something. In my time at East Peoria, I have learned many things. Mr. Van taught me that it is better to regret having done something than having not done it at all. Wise words that helped me at an uncertain time of my life. From Mrs. Dawson, I learned that you should always treat others with kindness, even if they don't treat you the same way. A philosophy that will make your life full of love. Mrs. Lamb taught me to try to understand people before judging them, because in this harsh world, everyone wishes to be understood. From Miss Church, I learned that pursuing happiness may be the hardest thing you have to do, but you must do it. Mrs. Fleming taught me that consistent support can make someone feel as if they can do anything, especially when all people tell them is what they can't do. And from Coach Gersnich, who taught me that mediocrity isn't something to be okay with, and hard work makes no excuses. These are just a few of the many lessons that the staff here has taught me, but our time with them is now at an end. Chapters end and new ones begin. We're going to be writing our stories in a time of uncertainty, but that does not mean that we cannot dare to dream, at least for a little longer. And that doesn't mean we cannot be thankful for who we are and where we come from. Here we are, alone, but together. A few weeks ago, a friend of mine asked me what I would tell my children about when they went into high school. At the time, I gave some lame answer because I didn't want to think about the school I loved and the people that I missed so much. But after thinking about it, I knew for certain. On February 21st, 2020, our basketball team played against the Morton Potters. The week before, our community as a whole had been disrespected in a way that made my blood boil. And we reached out to our fans to support us at the famous Game Ball Run game. When we came out of the locker room, I saw familiar faces packed into the tribe. But I also saw the faces of people who I'd never seen at a game. I saw the entire stands filled with people who came to support our community. What I'm trying to say is, our community came together that day. It was the first time in my four years at East Peoria that I've seen anything like that. An entire community together. As I wrap up this speech, I hope that each and every one of you realizes the potential you have to be great. You don't have to make the most money or be ver verified on Instagram, but you can touch the lives of those around you for the better. So do that. Work harder than you want to because it is better than failing knowing that you could have done more. Show the special people in your life that you love them because you never know when you won't be allowed to see them again. Live and experience moments that will take your breath away instead of letting a mask do that for you. Be the best version of you that you can be because you're special. Class of 2020, I'm thankful to have been a part of you. I'm thankful to be alone, but together with you. And I'm thankful to have been a part of a school that I love so much. You are my tribe and I'm forever proud to be a Raider. Thank you, Samuel. At this time, Abigail Eggmeyer will address the class. Good afternoon. Today is an important day for a multitude of reasons, but first on that list is, hey, we're done with high school. 
following that could be anywhere from the memories we've made, the things we've learned, and the places we're going to. Today, our emotions are all over the place. Some of us are scared because we don't know what's going to happen next, while others of us are excited for the future. No matter what, we can all look around and say, we did it. As I was searching Google, watching YouTube videos, as one does to try to figure out what to say to encapsulate the meaning of high school, it hit me. Three bold words on a poster in my room that said, you are enough. We've grown up into a world where comparisons happen every day that can make us feel less than what we really are. As we've been born into a time with high-speed technology making everything that much faster, we've been brought with the challenge to keep up and do more. To be the best at your sport, have the best grade in class, have the best clothes, and to constantly do better. While all of us have certainly improved, it doesn't feel like that sometimes. We can be doing our best, but when compared to someone else, our best doesn't seem as valid. This is something that definitely happens throughout high school. It is going to be one of the biggest problems we'll have for the rest of our lives. But luckily, at East Peoria Community High School, we have something that not everyone else has. People, people who care. Those amazing people are the teachers, counselors, and loving faculty members. They are the people who are willing to talk to their students at any time of the day. The people who want the most valuable lesson their students to learn is to be kind. They are the people that make learning so much fun that you want to go to school for eight more years. And most importantly, they're the people to tell you after a long, hard day that you, you are enough. It is so important that I want each and every one of you to know it. That no matter how the person next to you is doing, the only thing that matters is that you are trying your hardest. I know it is easier said than done, but I don't want any of you to be afraid of the future because whatever you aim to accomplish, you're going to kill it. So chase after your dream and don't let anything stop you because you're enough and you got this. Looking back at high school in a few years, all we will have is our memories and a couple of thousands of photos. So think right now of your favorite moments, hard days, and long nights of studying and carry them with you because soon we will all be making new memories with new friends in new places. And soon, high school will be a distant memory. It will all just be a story we tell our kids someday. But know that all the experiences we've had in high school, good or bad, have prepared us for the future, the great unknown that we are walking into. I have complete confidence that every single person, no matter what path you take, what job you have, no matter what, that you'll succeed in life. And one day, when we all have our own lives separate from each other, we can sit back and think how we got there. And we will know that East Peoria Community High School was a part of our journey. We will know that it was the loving and caring people that got us where we are today. The people who believed that we were enough. Thank you and have a great Raider Day. Thank you, Abigail. At this time, I will ask the Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Marjorie Gruder, to come forward and to certify the Class of 2020. It is my honor, by the power vested in me by the State of Illinois, that I certify that the Class of 2020 has satisfied the prescribed requirements for graduation. Each member of this class will be recognized immediately and is invited to come forward and receive their diploma at the drive through graduation ceremony. Samuel David Abbey, Amanda Blaze Aberly, Corbin Drake Albert, Blake Hayden Alexander, Caleb Nathan Alt, Natalie Rose Anderson, Jesus Giovanni Andrade, Caitlin Rose Angle, Olivia Joe Asbury, Courtney Ann Ashley, Noah Alexander Alt, Michaela Ray Baker, Ty Joseph Barclay, Dale Leland Morris Beard, Mason Lee Becker, Tatiana Alyssa Beam, Brock Andrew Burns, Faith Evelyn Bavard, Tyler James Billingsley, Tatiana Marie Bishop, Haley Marie Blumenstock, Michaela Paige Bohm, 
Kayana Marie Boulding, James Dylan Bond, Christopher Danielle Borton, Skylar Marie Bullion, Benjamin Tyler Bowers, Peyton Keith Boyle, Parker James Bradford, Peyton Thomas Bradford, Clayton Taylor Bray, Colby Dylan Breedlove, Garrett Owen Bridges, Dominic Anthony Brooks, Luke Robert Brooks, Ryan Lewis Brooks, Bryston Mitchell Brown, Lillian May Browning, Katherine Summer Bryant, Robert Allen Birch, Eliana Jalen Burrell, Alexis Jordan Butner, Margaret Victoria Calloway, Hannah Renee Carlston, Cora Lynn Carver, Bradley Shane Cauley, Owen Christopher Clem, Caitlin Marie Klein, Caleb Tyler Collins, Ian Michael Cook, Pierce Allen Cook, Emma Lenane Cowan, Morgan Lynn Cowan, Aiden Alexander Kramer, Jenna Marie Crebo, Jada Lynn Kripe, Joseph Riley Chrysler, Abigail Sue Bell Dahl, Andrew J. Davis, Alexandria Rochelle Dean, Mara Ann Dimitrov, Abigail Amory Duckworth, Brandon Scott Dunn, Nathan Curtis Derm, Sarah Beth Aker, Maya Endress Eaton, Allison Renee Eckberg, Abigail Elizabeth Eileen Egemeyer, Parker Joshua Ellerton, Chayton Walker Ellis, Austin Michael Evangelist, Jalen Sierra Everett, Logan Jack Everly, Mackenzie Ann Eyer, Alyssa Reagan Flatbeer, Hunter Dalton Flores, Tori Ann Frederick, Elliot David Gibson, Dawson Lee Gill, Sandra K. Gnem, Aliyah Noel Goble, Zachary Dylan Greenwell, Blake Robert Griffin, Tressa Ray Grisham, Dominic Zane Hahn, Alexander Travis Hale, Landon Kent Hammond, Nigel Theron Harkness, Lauren Elizabeth Hawkins, Kyle David Heaton, Ivy Marie Hellstrom, Jacob Andrew Higgins, Monique Allison Hooson, Jake Douglas Huff, Aubrey Faye Humphrey, Lindsay Elizabeth Eisenhart, Brianna Marie Jack, Daniel Ramon Jackson, Jr. Caleb Jeffrey Jasinski. Journey Dawn Jones. Haley Alexis Klein. Jasmine Brianne Lambert. Sharver Michan Laney. Logan Christopher Loffrey. Kaylee M. Leach. Cole Jeremiah Leathers, 
Anna C. Elizabeth Lewis, Adriana J. Lynn Lobdell, Samantha Joanna Lutton, Tweed Airdrie McPhee, Amanda Lee McGarity, Alexia Bree Mann, Brianna Elizabeth Marble, Danny Nicole Marion Hines, Gracie Marie Martin, Emily Ann Matheny, Brianna Nicole McBride, Brett Richard McMahon, Alexis Marie Meeks, Haley Lane Meismer, Krista Marie Messer, Kenneth Charles Metz, Cheyenne Nicole Metz, Matthew Scott Middleton, Cassandra Nicole Miller, Jacob Clayton Miller, Kobe Michael Miller, Cameron Riley Mobeck, Kara Leslie Moore, Storm Elizabeth Moore, Savannah Riley Morgan, Desiree Catherine Lynn Mauck, Skylar Angeles Myers, Isaac John Nelson, Marissa Renee O'Brien, Riley Nan O'Laughlin, Logan MacArthur Oliver, Joshua Peter Orr, Justin Fox Owens, Princess Javelin Salinas Paldo, Ryan James Parker, Callie Elizabeth Paulson, Bradley Isaiah Pearson, Jackson Roger Perdue, Bradley Dion Perez, Paul James Peterson, Ryan Thomas Perino, Lawson Kane Powers, Madison Jane Purcell, Isabel Elise Rakestraw, Carson William Ray, John Christopher Reagan, Caden Terry Regan, Gloria Riddle, Noah Anthony Riker, Tristan Matthew Riggenbach, Angelina Maylee Roberts, Sydney Lene Robinson, Jackson Donald Roger, Brendan Kirby Royger, Abigail Marie Roper, Maya Sierra Rose, Caitlin Marie Sarns, Kaylee Elise Schmidgel, Jacob Lee Shane Skinner, Jennifer Lexis Smallsreed, Mariah Lynn Smith, Alex Savanavong, Casey Michael Spence, Parker Bailey Spence, Sebastian Chase Spradlin, Kaylee May Stage, Moon Shadow Stanton, Taylor Morgan Stas, Kara Lynn Steck, Destiny Elizabeth Stevens, Brogan Riley Stewart, Hunter Mark Stewart, Ryan Michael Stout, Madison Denise Summers, Safia Syed, David Van Ta, Drake Alexander Lee Tharp, Bianca Eileen Thomas, Sierra Navea Thompson, Martel Allen Laquin Thompson, Shane Lorenzo Travis, Maya Nicole Trung Tu Turk, Courtney Nicole Turbot, Tristan Randa Turbot, Chase Heath Ulrich Wagner, Shailen Ray Upchurch, Jolene G. Varquez, Jacob Allen Waldrop, Braden Kane Way, Samuel Arthur Weeks, McKenna Lynn Weber, Tristan Geronimo Westby, Carter Michael Matthew Wilbanks, Cole Tyler Williamson, Gavin Francisco Williams, Skyler Austin Williamson, 
Zachary Allen Willis, Dustin LaShawn Wilson, Stuart Milton Wen, Chloe Nicole Weisenberg, Zachary Irvin Cole Wood, Ronald Kenneth Wright Jr., Kyle Matthew Wrigley, Jason Clarence York V, Zoe Zakaya Zimmerman. What a wonderful and strong group of individuals. At this time, I would like to introduce Jolene Varquez, who will give the closing speech to the class of 2020. To the class of 2020, our countdown is finally to an end, and despite our circumstances here today, I am nothing but proud of not only what we have all accomplished, but also who this class has become. We created memories to reminisce on, like our iconic back-to-back -back homecoming weeks. But as these memories come to an end, we now can realize that we are just beginning to set the courses for the rest of our lives. These four years only gave us a small taste of who we are and what the real world is like. East Peoria Community High School has helped each of us grow, find ourselves, gain interest, and become a part of a new family. Each and every one of us took very different courses, applied our knowledge in very different ways, and struggled individually with very different problems. I'm not going to pretend that we all had the same experiences because there is no way that is physically possible. Nonetheless, EPCHS is something that will always have an impact on me because I remember my eighth grade graduation where I full on cried about going here because I was terrified to go to a school that was six times bigger than my old one knowing no one at all. But ironic enough, I'm standing here today saying that I was a huge baby. What I didn't know back then was that EPCHS would be my outlet in life. What I didn't know was that I was going to become a part of an even bigger family than I ever would have imagined. What I didn't know was that I would be welcomed by a staff full of loving, caring people. But most importantly, what I didn't know was that I was going to create lifelong friendships and memories. Now I can't say that I know each and every one of your stories, but I want this class to know as a whole that we deserve the best. We didn't deserve this unfortunate situation, but I can say that we have overcome it so well. Our strength in coming together as a class to support each other, our staff, and our community not only prove that we are compassionate, but also the fact that I believe each and every one of us will find our places in the world. Because look at us, we are seniors who were gifted this unfortunate situation. Yet, here we are in a higher place than we started in four years ago. East Peoria graduates of 2020. I say we all celebrate with dignity and pride because of this. And as every graduation speech comes to an end, the speaker usually mentions something along the lines of, the end of high school is actually the beginning of the rest of our lives. And I hate to be cliche, but that's the truth. High school has prepared us and impacted us in an unimaginable number of ways. Whether we went to the dances, joined a tribe, found a new passion, chose a career, learned something new, or improved our attitude on life, there were endless opportunities offered to us. One more time though, I just want to reiterate the fact that I have never seen, let alone heard of, a more caring, loving, and compassionate staff than the one here at East Peoria. One of my coaches told me recently that if this is the worst thing to happen in our lives, then we are going to have some awesome lifetimes because this road is nowhere near the end and I hope it only gets better from here for us. So as we graduate to become future alumni, I want to finish our final EPCHS Class of 2020 Baby Countdown. Three, I think everyone can agree that those three day weekends were the absolute best. Two, there were two classes that we were actually required to take as seniors and one, because this is one last moment we will share begin, before we begin the rest of our lives. Thank you, Jolene. To the graduates of the class of 2020, now that you have completed all the requirements and you will be receiving your diplomas, you may move your tassel to the left side of your caps to symbolize your graduation. And now, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2020. Congratulations to all of you.